everybody, I'm back with uh, starting the flip of my second Fobonichi journal. Um, if you are just joining me for the first time, I appreciate it. And if not, welcome back. Um, this is actually what the book looks like when I first get it. Well, except it's cleaner and skinnier. Um, I love this book. I'm going to put the link below in case anybody's interested in it. I've used a couple of others since this and actually I like this one the best. I think I'm going to go back to it. Um, and as you can tell, I haven't decorated the cover yet, but I will do that hopefully before I get to the end of the flip of this whole book. Um, so this starts December 1st of 2015. So this is actually last year and I'm kind of glad I'm doing December flip during December, even if it is the incorrect year. So in the front here, I just washied on some scrapbook paper. This is where I kept my prompts. I'm not sure why they're not in there. I usually keep them in there. Must have fallen out or whatever. But anyway, here's my December 1st page. I decided to do, um, I was seeing so many pretty wreaths in um, like the Pier 1 catalog and wherever, online, you know, ads. So I decided to do a, a one wreath a day for, for 25 days. So this was number one. This was the drawing challenge for the day, was light bulbs. I really like the way those turned out. I might have to do that again. And then this is just a, I was trying to do a photo a day. I didn't always do it, but um, this is the front of my house with the lights on it across the front and a little along the fence line. So that turned out to be a really cute page. Um, here, this is all washi. These were little cutouts that I got from uh, Pinterest little printouts that I cut out. Um, this was my picture of the day, the sunset. It was so, so pretty. I mean, it actually made sitting in traffic enjoyable. Um, doesn't even really look real. And too bad the convenience store got in the way, but that was the only good shot of it I could get. Um, on here, I did a different take on the light bulbs. I really just drew little blotches of color, but I like the way it outlined the picture. And, um, this was an art challenge, it was an elf. I think it came with a link to do like a step-by-step, -step. otherwise I never would have been able to do that. And I think even so, I think I I did draw it in pencil and then colored over it and I think I erased like 15 times. Um, so here's my wreath for the day, a little Jingle Bell wreath. Um, on this one I did a washi tree. I saw that, I am sure, on Pinterest somewhere. Um, I'm going to do that again this year, too, and I really love this little drawing right here, or this little, uh, whatever, image. It came from a catalog that, this was actually on the front of a t-shirt, and it says, it's a little squirrel, it says, excuse me, but your bird feeder is empty, so I think that's adorable. And um, all of these are really just doodles that I did. Um, that's why I really love this. This graph paper is kind of bigger than normal graph paper. I'm not really sure what the size of it is, but I like that size. It works well for me. So I think that's another reason why I'm going to go back to that. Here I just did some collage. I think I just had a bunch of images that I wanted to use and I knew I wasn't going to have time to fit them all in for December, so I just collaged. Of course, I didn't show this page um, in the Fobonichi Journalers group because this is not technically uh, Fobonichi compliant because there's nothing on there about my day, but I love this little saying here and then I just kind of collaged around it. Here is a five on Friday. I love this page because the blue is a little bit different and it was a change from the red and the green. So the five on Friday prompt was add blue, silver, and white. Um, snowmen, which I cut this out of a catalog. The sparkle, um, I'm sure you can't see it in the video, but it was um, gel pens that had little sparkles in them. Festive stickers, which are these snowflake stickers, and um, stickers that describe my Christmas feelings. So that was this joy. Um, I love these stickers. I'm going to have to see if I can find those again. And then here's a picture of my little mantle that I do every year. Um, I actually have a double mantle because I have a real fireplace and then I have a little electric fireplace in front of it because I don't use real fireplaces. That's way too much trouble. So anyway, that's where I do my little double fireplace every year. 
or my double mantle, I guess I should say. Um, here's pictures of the boys helping me decorate the tree. Actually, I had already done most of the decorating. I just saved the the ornaments that they hand make me and the ones that I actually buy for them each year. I saved those for them to put up. Um, and they just really love doing it. They love looking at the ornaments that they made and we talk about them and the ones that I buy for them and we talk about those. And Jackson, uh, the younger one, he's just so cute. Every one that he made, he looks at it and says, did I do it by myself? Because he knows that a lot of times people help him, but he was just so cute. He was proud of himself when I told him, yes, that's one you did all by yourself, even if it was like just scribbling. Um, here, this is an actually the, my tree topper that I still use. My son made that in kindergarten, so it is 25 years old. And basically, it's just a piece of paper that they colored and... I guess the, I'm sure the teacher probably cut it out and then glued it together on the back or taped it together. And he was so proud of it when I first started using it. And then of course, when he got into his puberty stage, he was so embarrassed. He's like, mom, please don't put that on the tree. And now that he's, you know, 30, um, and actually I guess in his later twenties, he's, he's just amused by it now. He doesn't, he's not embarrassed by it anymore. I think he's given up on me. Um, here's my wreath for day five. I didn't have room on this page, so I had to squeeze it over here in my day six wreath. And then here's my list. I wish Santa would bring me a Pandora bracelet, which he did that year. A trip to Hawaii. I said, hey, a girl can dream. And art supplies, which of course I got those as well. And I love these little 19 days until Christmas, these little countdown stickers. Um, some more wreaths for each day. This is my photo of the day was, um, this is my centerpiece for my coffee table. I took this directly from Pinterest. I was really surprised at how closely it matched um, what they showed on Pinterest. And I had to find the deer, but everything else I already had. So I like the way that turned out. And used one of my Christmas cards here and some journaling about my sister-in-law who was very, very ill and at the end of her life. And my little lanterns, I love lanterns. I have several at my house. This is another thing that my son made when he was in kindergarten and I put that out every year. It's the construction paper um, links and then they drew the little elf face and um, cut that out. Love this wreath, it looks all nice and snowy. Here's another, this is an ornament that I really love. This was for my photo a day. It's a little snowman. Somebody gave it to me like a secret Santa or something like that. I only have one of them. I wish I had more and you, the bottom of him has a little hole and you sit it over a light bulb. So then the lights blink and change colors. And Jackson's um, favorite color that year was green and he asked me to put it over a green light bulb for him. So that's really cute. And then I added some information about a doctor's appointment. So I just had some little random piece of paper I stuck in there. Um, and this is a page that I did, a uh, tribute page to my sister-in-law who passed away. Um, I never shared this one online uh, in the Facebook group either. Um, had a really great picture of her, my brother, that I really liked to put in there and then some information about the service. And then I found these three little angels. I'm not really sure where I found those, but I thought it was appropriate because she had a infant child that died many, many years ago. And then my niece who died from uh, complications from a, from a virus, pneumonia, whatever. So anyway, the three of them are holding hands. So I thought that was really cute. So she's with them now. Um, here's another Five on Friday. This was Add Red, Gold, and Green, and this was paper that I found on the on Pinterest, and I printed that out, and then I just cut it apart and used the different parts and different um, corners of the page. Um, add a Santa, which was the Santa here. Use something metallic. Again, you probably can't see it, but I did these dangles and did them in um, sparkly gel pen. Some festive gift wrap. I'm gonna cut out a piece of my gift wrap. And something that reminds me of past Christmases, this is this picture here. This is me and my brothers and sisters sitting in front of, as you can tell, the really old uh, cabinet TV. Um, this is me here. And uh, I just love, love, love that picture. I, one year, I don't remember, 10 years ago, 
I had that picture blown up into a five by seven and framed it and gave it to each one of my brothers and sisters for Christmas. My photo a day here is my little journaling place on the dining room table, which looks relatively clean there. You would, does, looks nothing like that now. Um, and then here, um, so me, my friend Laura and Tina, we were going out for lunch that day. And I had actually just told them about my journal and had shown them uh, what I had done so far this month. So it was all new information to them. And I asked them if I could take a picture of the three of us, which none of us had makeup on, none of us had done our hair. I mean, brushed it, but you know, not done. Um, and so they're all like, yeah, we don't, you know. I'm like, look, I don't look any better. I just think it'll be fun. And think about how great we're gonna look when we look back on this in 10 years. So then they went, oh, okay. So we took a picture and I actually think it turned out really nice. Tina, well, never mind, I won't go into all that. But anyway, um, and here I stamped my Choose Joy stamp. I love that stamp. And these little ornaments I cut out from some, some ad in the, either online or that came in the mail. And here's a picture of uh, my photo a day is of my Amazon and Barnes and Noble boxes under the tree. Of course, later I actually wrapped them. Um, and then I think this is gonna be my last page for today. Um, the photo a day was, um, I just took a close up of the part of my mantle decoration. These little tumbling Santa Clauses, I've had those for, I don't know, since my son was a little boy two, three, four years old. So they're really, really old. And now my grandsons really enjoy them. So um, I really love those. This Ho Ho Ho, I got this off of Pinterest. These are dollar store frames that I spray painted white. Then I just took scrapbook paper and backed it and then used Microsoft Word and made really huge font letters in black and just cut them out. And I actually used this same thing all year. And I just swap out the papers like it'll say summer, spring, autumn, winter, whatever. Uh, that's a cute idea and an easy way to decorate the mantle. And then here's my wreath and just some little pictures of, uh, it was wrapping paper that I really like, the snowman over top of some wrapping paper. And I love this little quote here. It says, I would be unstoppable if only I could just get started. So anyway, that is through December 15th. So I'm gonna stop here and hope you enjoyed this little flip in my Fobonichi, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, please like and subscribe. And I really appreciate you taking the time to look at this. Thanks so much.